you can just read along here. I'm just going to have some uh, additional thoughts. If you feel the slides are too fast, you can just pause the video and read it. Sorry for the pixelated quality, but I think it's still you know, really fun to have a look at some of these answers. I, I really enjoyed uh, seeing some answers to these questions. And now he did mention uh, working on a prologue. And to me, that would be kind of interesting because one thing was... Um, Ram and Animal were like friends from the very beginning and to me that was just like how did that come about? How did this human boy become friends with you know this giant monster animal chimera like lion triceratops with wings? It's just it's pretty wild but that's I guess part of the intrigue and the mystique and he did mention that um, you know gradually some more of the backstories are going to be getting filled in so Maybe we'll get to see a little flashback or something like that eventually. So for a long time, I had wanted to have a like crossover battle game like Super Smash Brothers featuring webcomic characters. But actually, while I was reading um, Legends of Candrelar book number three, I had this idea for like an RPG game. I've never played Kingdom Hearts, but I imagine something like that. So it's like a crossover game where you go to like different dimensions and you can like have characters on your party from different um you comic universes i think that would be really interesting and also him uh having everything set on one planet i i kind of get that thing too with the star wars because i mean if you're all living on the same planet i guess there's more i guess drama that can happen because if it's a different planet so if there's a conflict it can be like okay well i'm just gonna go live on a different planet away from this and <laughs> you know what i'm saying so if it's all on the same planet um, I guess it makes more sense, some of these conflicts, where it's a bit nonsensical to be, like, going all around the universe and just involving yourself in somebody's business and bullying them. It's a bit, it's a bit zany. So anyways, this was a really fun one, and I hope you guys check out this comic. It's a great comic.